It took my great-great-grandfather two tries to make it in America. Born in Cordiki, Scotland in 1820, James Lau and his family emigrated to Canada in 1836. They settled on land near La Chute, Canada, next to the family of the beautiful Wilhelmina Schlauberg, a fellow native of Scotland, whom he would eventually marry in 1845. Eleven children and 20 years later, not being content with his life in Canada, James Lau would embark on a journey to America. A journey that would take him 6,000 miles away from his family in Canada to find a new life for them and new possibilities for a future in America. He would go to California to find land and bring his family after he had established himself there. Here is the story of the unsuccessful attempt my great-great-grandfather made exactly 150 years ago this summer. In May of 1867, James Lau and his son, James Jr., were driven in an oxen cart to the train, which would take them to New York City, where they would board the Henry Chauncey. Before setting sail, James wrote a letter to his wife, Minnie. Dear Minnie, you are not to grieve and trouble yourself about our departure. I know that the great God above will protect me and James. We are the pioneers for the rest of the family. They sailed southward along the Atlantic coast to Panama, where they crossed by railroad, then boarded the steamship Constitution to sail up the Pacific coast to San Francisco, where they arrived 22 days after leaving New York. Sick from the sea and weakened by the journey, it took a while for James Sr. to feel well enough to work. After a time, they found work threshing on a farm. In September, they got hired at a sawmill 300 miles from where they first landed. The work proved difficult for James, who by now was 47 years old. In October, James Jr. became ill and returned to San Francisco to convalesce while James Sr. stayed on at the mill near Fort Ross. Over the winter, they decided to go back to Canada. On February 15, 1868, they set sail on the steamship Dakota to begin the long journey back to Canada. James Sr. got home just in time to see his father, David Lau, before he died. One week later, perhaps embarrassed by not being successful in making a new life in California for his family, James packed up the entire family and left for Iowa, where his wife's brother had homesteaded. This second attempt was successful for James. He got his citizenship and eventually homesteaded in Minnesota. His children grew up, married, and had children of their own. His eldest son, James Jr., married Anna Sheeran in 1880 in Avoca, Minnesota. And from this union came George Lau, my grandfather. So though he failed the first time, James Lau Sr. finally established a home in America for him and his family. Though he believed he had failed in making a home in California, this was a good thing, for me at least, because in the end, if they had stayed in California, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs>